Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering pointers in C. Guys, I have uploaded a complete PPS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. Let's get started. The pointer in C language is a variable which stores the address of another variable. By using pointers, we can store address of variable. Either variable can be of any type like integer, character, float, etc. This pointer will store address of variable. As we all know, by using scanf, we can assign value to the variable after executing a program. I will give an example. Here I took int a. And I did not given any value to this variable a. I will give value by using scanf function so that I return scanf percentage d comma and a where and represent address of a and is nothing but it is address. So by using this scanf function, I can enter value after executing a program. So after executing a program, I given value as 10. Whenever I assign value 10, this value 10 is stored in the address of a where and a represents address of a whatever the value that you give this value is stored in the address of a i will give one example so that you can clearly understand how pointers will work as we know we need to start c program with header file i written hash include sdo.h and after that i written int main and inside main function i written int a equal to 43 that means i am assigning value 43 to this variable a where a is variable and 43 is value here i written printf percentage d comma a whenever you write this printf function whatever the value that is present inside this variable a will be generated as output so i will get output as 43 but i want to find address of this variable a i don't want this value i want address of this variable a so for that purpose i need to write printf percentage p where p represents pointer comma and a for address you need to write and even in printf you can use and a where and represents address so here i written percentage p comma and a now whenever i write this printf function i will get address of variable a this is the output for first printf function i will get output as 43 and for second printf function that is percentage p comma and a i will get address of variable a this is address of variable a that is 0 x 7 f f this is nothing but it is address of variable a this variable a is stored in this address here address is nothing but storage location wherever variable is stored here variable a is stored in this address here and a represents pointer so that i written here percentage p we represent pointer by using and symbol also create pointer variable and then we can assign address of various variables to this pointer variable i will give an example here I written int a equal to 43. After that I written int star b where star represents pointer variable. Whenever I write int star then this variable b is treated as pointer variable. By using pointer variable we can store address of various variables. Now I will store address of this variable a in this pointer variable b. So for that purpose I written int star b equal to and a where and represents address. Now this pointer variable b contains address of this a. Next I written printf percentage d comma a whenever you write this printf function whatever the value that is present in variable a will be generated as output so i will get output as 43 and similarly next are written printf percentage p where p represents pointer percentage p comma b that means this pointer variable p contains address of a now i will get output as 0x7ff so on so this is nothing but this is address of a variable a is stored in this address we can also create pointer to array this is example here I written int a of 10. As we know, we will create array by using square brackets and inside square brackets, I given array size as 10. Now we need to create pointer in order to store address of this array a. So that I written int star, as I said before, star represents pointer. Int star p of 10 equal to and a. That means this pointer will store this address of this array a. We can also create pointer to structure. This is example. As we know, we will create structure by using struct keyword and I am giving structure name as ht. And inside this structure variable ht, I written int i and float f. And I am giving short name of this ht as s. Now we need to create pointer. For that, I written struct ht. Whatever I written here, I need to write here. Struct ht star p, where star represents pointer variable. Now whenever you represent pointer variable, now you can store address of variable. Now I am storing address of this structure. I given short name of this ht as s. So here I need to write and s. That means this pointer variable p will store address of this structure s. Now the advantage of pointer, first advantage is it reduces code and then improve performance. And second advantage is it returns multiple values for a function. By using pointers, we can return multiple values from a function. And third advantage is by using pointers, we can access any memory location in our computer. These are the applications of pointers. First, first application is dynamic memory allocation. Dynamic memory allocation is done by malloc and as well as kloc functions. In this, we use pointers. And second application is Arrays, functions and structures. In arrays, functions and structures, 
we use pointers so that it will improve performance exam you can write this diagram pointers contains address of variable that contains value 